Uh, hello, I'm Maria, and in this video we're gonna give you model answers and vocabulary about not cookies, no, mmm, no, it is good. Cakes, dear listener, cakes. And my name is Rory, and I don't eat cakes, but I'm here to help prepare you for a help speaking with, and we'll have a little fun and some cake along the way. And you know, dear listener, IELTS people love the topic of cakes because it's the third time the third time that we've recorded the topic about not cookies, it's a cookie, about cakes. But it's the first time we've done a video on it. Cake three. <laughs> Let's talk about cakes for the third time. Have you ever made a cake yourself? Oh, not in about, I think, 20 years. And even then I had help from my parents. Uh, I think the closest thing I've come to making in terms of something like a cake with Cyrenike and that's like a Russian um, cheese dessert I suppose but um, it, nothing like a cake I'm absolutely useless at baking I hate to think of the kind of mayhem that would ensue if I tried baking a cake in the kitchen even my Cyrenike turned out burned and that's a very simple recipe Right dear listener so we can make a cake we can bake a cake we can have a cake we can eat a cake yum 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 Right, a cake is like a cake, right? So this is a cookie, a biscuit, cookie. We can have a homemade cake, okay, for example, or a slice of cake, a slice, a piece of cake, a slice of cake. Rory told us that he is useless at making cakes. What are you? An idiot sandwich. I, I mean, I could do it for myself. But if I baked for other people, I would be so worried I would poison them. So I just don't do this. So I'm not good at making cakes. I'm, not, I'm useless at baking cakes. When I do this, a cake turns out to be burnt. So my cakes turn out to be burnt. Turn out, they kind of they happen. Well, my Cyrenike turned out burned. My cakes, I don't even want to imagine what that would be like. I've not made one in a very long time. Um, so God only knows what would happen. You can say that once I was making a cake, a cheesecake. Once Rory was making Cyrenike. Cyrenike is, um, well, they call it like Russian curd cheese pancakes. It's not a dessert. It's not. Oh, I thought it was. I'm sorry. No, it's not a dessert. I just... It just goes to show you don't have to be factually correct when you're giving an answer to an IELTS question. You just have to make sure that you use the appropriate vocabulary. Um, and if not, then I did say it's kind of like or it's a kind of. So it's not exactly what I said. Mayhem is a very good word. So every time I try to bake something, there is mayhem or I create mayhem. <laughs> Yes, so mayhem is like, um, well, it's similar to chaos um, or just a really um, unregulated and disorderly situation, um, which is exactly what would be the case if I if I did some baking because it, I don't have a clue what to do. Even if I followed the recipe book, it would just be a mess. Do you like cakes? Every now and then, yeah, um, but I don't eat them terribly often because my uh, my gut bacteria don't uh, respond very well to that much sugar in me and I get all bloated and feel ill. Um, but it's nice to have something sweet every now and then and then abstain for another three months. I sometimes have cakes. Rory, what did you say? You didn't say sometimes, but you said something else. Oh, yeah. Every now and then. Every now and then. Like, do you have cakes? Every now and then, like sometimes, not often, not always, sometimes. If you don't, then you can speak about your gut bacteria. Gut is like, uh, like inside your stomach, no, inside your belly, you have um, guts here. <laughs> and um, Rory has some bacteria in his guts and um, his bacteria don't respond well to sugar to cakes and Rory gets all bloated so when you get bloated you're gonna like a balloon an expansion of your stomach it's not very pleasant it's a nice feeling yeah so kind of like um, like a balloon um, I usually get bloated and ill after I eat a cake 
or I eat cakes. Anything with sugar. And then Rory has to abstain for three months or abstain from sugar for uh, a year. So abstain from something. I might be exaggerating slightly there. When you abstain from something, what do you do? You just don't do it or don't have it for a period of time. So usually I don't eat that much sugar. Um, maybe not not terribly often. I said once every three months, but that was just kind of a joke. Um, it's probably maybe once every two weeks or so. It's not often. You could say it's once in a blue moon. <laughs> when you abstain from something, you don't do something enjoyable. Okay? So I have to abstain from sugar. Because sugar, I love sugar. I have to abstain from coffee or from smoking, or from alcohol, usually from these kind of things, which you enjoy. Dear listener, here you can show off your vocabulary about cakes. I usually eat New York cheesecake or chocolate cake or carrot cake. Carrot? Carrot cake with walnuts. Walnuts are kind of types of nuts. Or I prefer cupcakes, like little cakes, cupcakes. Or um, I prefer gluten-free cakes, gluten-free or vegan cakes. You can also say like apple and strawberry strawberry crumble. Crumble is a kind of a like type of cake, yum, yum, yum. like a vegan banana cake. Like choose like two types of cakes, which are kind of like nice, like a, a strawberry crumble. You see, like nice vocabulary. Also, Rory, did you know the recent trends in cake industry? No! Who follows this? Well, you should, okay? <laughs> in addition to everything else that you're doing, like getting ready for IELTS, you should also follow the cake industry. Well, you speak about cakes in the, in the what, the 22nd century, 21st century now? So, dear listener, I'm going to tell you now. I've researched now, shaped cakes are really popular. Shaped, you can get a cake with any shape you want, okay? So, for example, uh, a dinosaur cake. A cake with the shape of a dinosaur. Or, um, like, um, they're called what, what, uh, dimensional sculpted cakes. 3D cakes. Uh, 3D, dear listener, okay? For example... A cake in the shape of freaking Titanic. Who has the time and money for this? No, people do that. Believe me, there are like many companies now. So, it's Rory's birthday. What kind of cake are we going to give to Rory for his birthday? A regular cake, please. I don't want anything like the Titanic. A cake in the shape of a Scottish flag. A kilt cake. A cake in the shape of a kilt or a bagpipe. A bagpipe, you know, a traditional Scottish instrument. I hope you are sourcing all of these pictures for the podcast's YouTube channel. So, dear listener, so there are all kinds of designs. So please, if you want to be interesting, mention this in the test when they ask you about cakes. So there are three-dimensional 3D cakes, sculpted cakes. You can get a cake in the shape of anything. I would love to have a cake in the shape of a football or a cheeseburger. <laughs> also, dear listener, they put edible photographs on cakes. For example, a photo of me, a photo of Rory on your cake. And you can, yum, 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 yum. You can eat uh, those photos, dear listener. So they print your photo with edible colors edible cows on edible paper edible you can eat it yum 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 can we try and use that in one of the questions then go on ask me do you often eat cakes no i think the last time i had a cake was oh it must have been my, at my birthday party and on that we on the icing there was like um a photo um printed on it with edible ink so um, we could eat the photo there you go you see, much more interesting. You're in the trend. Our podcast gives you the recent trends in cakes, sunglasses, well, pretty much shoes, hair, anything you want. Did you like cakes when you were a child? Yeah, a bit too much, probably. Uh, I remember my grandmother would give us cakes almost every time we went to visit. Um, 
I like the icing in particular, which is basically just pure sugar. Um, and that is not good if you had, or if you're a child with uh, poor impulse control, which I definitely was. When I was a child, I ate cake a bit too much. Yes. Too much cake, dear listener. So Rory, tell us, can I use cake without an article? So, or cakes, a cake? Yeah, it's uncountable. Okay, like love. I need love, I need cake <laughs> in my life. Like in general, cake. What is the icing? It's usually the sugary covering on top of the sponge is how I am going to describe it. There's probably some baker somewhere going uh, or having a nervous breakdown because I've just given the wrong description. But it's the closest thing I can think of. Yeah, so if you have your cake, something like on top, you know, of different colors, so it's like an icing. An icing. Or just icing. Just icing. Or the icing. The icing, yeah, not an icing. No, it's just icing or the icing on a cake. It's an idiom as well. The, the icing on the cake is uh, something positive in a situation that's already good. So a cake is good, but icing, because it's um, got sugar in it and it tastes nice, is something that makes it even better. Could you give us an example of this idiom? Uh, the podcast is good, but the icing on the cake is you can take classes with me if you look at the link in the description below. Super grammar for you, dear listener, is to use wood about the past. So the examiner asks you, did you eat cakes when you were a child? Past. So you can say, I used to eat cakes in the past, a regular action in the past, or my grandmother would give me cakes. Would give me cakes, it means my grandma gave me cakes when I was a child. All right. So this is super advanced. Or my parents would give me a lot of um, sweets, okay, or cakes, and I ate them. As a child, Rory had poor impulse control. Well, most children have poor impulse control, don't they? You can't control yourself, so you just like keep eating... <laughs> keep eating things in an uncontrollable way. I had poor impulse control. Do you eat cakes or other sweet things after a meal? Well, as you might have guessed by now, uh, not really, no. Uh, I have, I, th I think the closest thing is the, the bland protein flapjack I have um, every day. Um, although I'm fine with that because I think it makes me appreciate the, the rare sweet things when I do have them. So it's not so bad. After a meal, after dinner, breakfast, lunch, you can have some sweets, some sweet things like this. That used to be like you know, this thing. Yeah, sweets. And uh, Rory told us that he usually has a bland protein flapjack. What? Um, a flapjack is... Oh, it's easier to show than it is to tell. Hold on. A flapjack is kind of... It's not a cake. It is something that people eat. It's made with oats. Um, compressed like that. This one's got a bit of chocolate on the top, but it's dark chocolate. It's not got much... Um, it's bland, so it's not got much flavor to it, or not as much as a cake, I would say. Yeah, dear listener. So you can mention all different kinds of sweet things, like uh, protein bars, or muffins, brownies, cookies, fruit tarts. Tarts, like uh, little thingies, and they have fruit on top. Pies, okay like protein muesli bars, dear listener. You know, like um, different, you know, like sweets, like chocolate. Uh, oh, Oreos. A nice thing to say is, as you might have guessed by now. So the examiner asks you a question and then you go like, as you might have guessed by now, dear examiner, might have guessed. So you think that the examiner has already thought about this, has already guessed that you uh, enjoy sweets or you don't like sweets. And you can say, like, as you might have guessed by now, I 
I don't eat sweets regularly. It's just another way of saying I'm just going to give you a very similar answer to everything I've given you before because I don't do much baking and I'm not very good at it. Roy, could you could you say it again, like naturally with your beautiful Scottish accent? As you might have guessed by now, not regularly. Dear listener, could you tell us what kind of cake would you like to have? Could you write it down in the comments? Let's go wild and crazy. Hmm, I would like a cake in the shape of a dragon. And dear listener, if you want speaking part two and three premium episodes, check out our premium episodes. The links are in the description. So we use fresh and mm, delicious IELTS speaking topics. I'm going to go and have my flapjack now to make me feel better. Bye. Bye.